Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how I got into scuba diving, why I got into it, um, and like the courses I took and like a bunch of information about it. So um, let's get right into it. So I made some notes in my YouTube book where I keep all my YouTube ideas and so uh, just so I don't forget anything that I want to share with you guys. So I'm also going to show you guys all my equipment that I use and that I did buy and like kind of the prices of everything just so that if you're getting into it you know what you're getting into because I had no idea what I was getting into when I got into scuba diving. So my whole entire life that I can think of um, I thought scuba diving was cool. I always knew I wanted to do it one day. I just didn't know when or what it all involved or anything. Me and my friend were going, going for a walk and she was going on about how we need to start a new hobby this year. Uh, we need, you know, something to get into. Um, we do a lot of like, uh, we do a lot of random stuff and uh, we we're like listing some hobbies that we'd like to get into and um, diving came up and we both agreed and we're like okay let's do scuba diving so I immediately researched some scuba diving places in the area and I found the number one place in Ontario was not super far from my house so um, I called them and I asked them if we could um, do the course the next one was starting uh, not too like long from then so I was like okay signing us up like me and my friend both and she's like well we only have one spot open actually and I was like oh like that sucks because we want to do it together and she said that one of the guys wasn't sure about it like he wasn't 100% sure that he was gonna um, do the course so that she would uh, so she said she would give my friend the guy's spot so I'm like okay awesome like sign us up so we got that guy's spot since he wasn't sure about it as soon as we were signed up um, she told us like we needed the four pieces of equipment so you need your uh, your mask your snorkel your fins and your boots for the scuba course um, so we went to the dive shop to get fitted for it and they were super helpful um, they helped us like get fitted and stuff so uh, we bought that um, and like paid for our courses and stuff so um, we did the SDI diving course that's the scuba diving international course so with that you can dive 60 feet or 18 meters so that's like more than enough for us for now if we want to more in the future that's fine but for now I believe like that's perfect for us um, and we're gonna practice on that so uh, that's why we did the SDI course because like it's like more than enough of what we need and it'll give us like the right training that we need we want to do mostly uh, reef diving so yeah so the cost of the courses was $750 so uh, that included um, the online course the in pool um, the in pool uh, training and then also the open water exam so for that they provided all the other equipment we didn't have to provide anything they provided all of that um, and then like on top of that like the four main things like that you need um, for the course like your like like I said your mask your fins your snorkel and your boots that on top of that was um, $450 I believe because it ended up being a total of $1,100 um, for everything uh, with the course and everything so yeah everything in total that you absolutely need for the course was $1,100 so I was not expecting it to be that much um, I really didn't think the fins and everything costed that cost that much uh, but it is like really good quality stuff that can last you forever if you take proper care of it so that makes sense and I was like happy with that I just wasn't expecting such a huge like price that it was so yeah I would really recommend doing an introductory course before you even sign up for this I had never done scuba diving in my life and if I had been like very claustrophobic or panicked underwater like I wouldn't have been able to do it and I would have wasted all that money on my equipment and the course and everything and I wouldn't be able to do it because some people just can't handle being underwater like that and they panic easily and even if you think you're really good with water um, you could panic underwater because there's like some people that do it and they're fine like they love water they love swimming they love being in water they're, they think they're like water creatures and then they end up panicking or like not liking it because you do have so much gear on you it's like such a different world underwater so definitely recommend doing an introductory course if you do it ranges from like fifty to seventy dollars I think um, and it would have been really like good to know kinda like what I was in getting myself into beforehand even though like I'm just kinda like I go for it and I don't think about it and then I sign up for things and I'm in so yeah anyway I would really really recommend doing that uh, to make sure you're not claustrophobic or panic underwater. So, 
every place is different with uh, the courses and stuff, but I'm just going to tell you my experience with the place that I um, did my training at. Make sure that you get a place that will pay good attention to you and give you the proper training that you need. Um, sp like personally, I need a lot of like time um, to adjust to it and like it really helped uh, that they were like so nice and uh, they really took your time and made sure you understood what you're doing because they wanted to make your, sure you're absolutely safe. So a lot of the places apparently only give you uh, like two hours of in pool time, but we got way more than that. Like, and we had an instructor for each of us and like, they were like, they went way overboard with instructors, making sure we were safe and we felt safe and we knew what we were doing. And like, they were really good with all of that. And um, yeah, so just make sure you really look into the reviews and stuff of the training place because you want to make sure that you get good training because um, it's like a very safe sport if you know what you're doing and if you're properly trained, but if you're not and you skip a bunch of steps, it can be like very dangerous very fast. So you just want to make sure you really know what you're doing. Um, the very first step is you like obviously sign up and whatever and uh, do a course. So I did the online course. It wasn't like hard. It did get a little boring at times. So basically there is 16 chapters and you go through them and at the end of each one there is a quiz and then at the end there's a, an exam. So you could definitely get it done in one day if you stick to it and like do it like straight or whatever but I just did it like whenever I felt like it and yeah so sometimes there's little videos and like all the exams and quizzes are multiple choice so yeah just make sure you pay attention and kind of know what you're doing also if you do do the introductory course before you sign up for all this you would get it a little more for me it was like so much because I had never even like been up close to scuba diving gear or anything I didn't even know what like a BCD was and like all that kind of stuff um so yeah, if you know a little bit about it beforehand, you'll have a much easier time with it. Final exam, I think it took me about an hour because like I was very indecisive on certain questions and I was like, oh, I didn't want to fail because like I didn't want to do it again. But yeah, I passed the first time. I believe I got like 93% or something, but you only need like 80 to pass. So yeah, and uh, you'll make sure, or like your instructors and stuff will go over the questions that you got wrong with you in the um, class and usually it's just the wording like how they word it usually you do know the right answer just like the way they word things kind of like confusing to make sure you're paying attention I guess but anyway so after you're done your online course like you have a date scheduled for your in pool training so um, my in pool training was May the very beginning of May so I had just had to have my course done before that. My in pool training was on a weekend, two days. So it was a Saturday and a Sunday. And it was, it started at nine in the morning and I had to be there. And the first day we were there until five o'clock. And then the second day we were there until three, I believe. Um, the first day it took us quite a bit longer to get into the pool and get ready and everything because we had to go over like the questions of our exam and everything. And then we got into the pool and like did all of our stuff. So they will teach you so many different techniques that you um, should know before you're diving. Um, it's rare that you would use a lot of them, but it's good to know them just in case of an emergency. The training place that I went to had a heated uh, saltwater pool, which was really nice. Um, uh, that it was like heated and stuff, so it was really good. We started with some snorkel techniques, and then we went uh, into techniques with like all of our gear on. And like it is crazy heavy, all of your gear. Like you have to, oh man. There's so much gear you have to put on and it's extremely heavy including like your tank, um, your weights, everything like that. Like you make, so you like learn how to make sure you're weighted properly. Um, you do mask flood, partial and full. You take your mask completely off underwater, which I didn't think I'd be able to do. I thought I had to plug my nose like this to breathe underwater, but really I don't. Like nobody has to. You just, it's like in your head. Like I always thought my whole entire life that I couldn't like swim underwater without plugging my nose but like it's just all in your head um and I'm glad they taught me that um uh and then in the pool we also did uh you have to be able to swim for 200 meters without stopping so we swam back and forth in the pool for 200 meters without stopping um and then we also did a 10 minute float in the water uh, like you just swim around for 10 minutes without touching anything obviously and uh, yeah uh, it went by fast we were like all just talking and you know while we were swimming there um, as long as you are a decent swimmer you'll be fine like, I don't even consider myself a super strong swimmer and I was fine like I didn't have a problem doing either of those oh yeah and another thing you have to do is swim um, 20 feet on one breath um, and we did 30 to practice but it was basically like you have to be able to like swim 
from the bottom of well, like we did our open water exam in a quarry, so you have to be able to swim from the bottom all the way to the top on one breath. So basically you just breathe out like little bubbles as you're going up, um, and you just have to be able to do it on one breath and then inflate your BCD when you get to the top. Your BCD is the thing that you can inflate with air, but like let's say you do run out of air, you have to get to the top on one breath and then also um, inflate your um, thing so that you stay floating your BCD and like how to set up all your gear properly make sure that it's like working right and you're doing your buddy checks like you learn so much stuff like I didn't even know there was so much involved in scuba diving that there is so um I found this training extremely fun like I was so excited like the first day I was a little nervous because I had no idea what I was doing but um after that I was like super excited and I had lots of fun our instructors were great uh, the people we were doing it with were great and yeah so I had lots of fun doing it um, it's really exhausting though because it's like 60 pounds on top of it and like when you do it you'll have a scuba buddy like you always go diving with a buddy um, and so basically there's a strong buddy and the other buddy and then so like I'm the strong buddy so then what I would do is my friend would help me get all my gear on so it's like literally 60 pounds of weight that you put on on top of your like huge like wetsuit and everything and then you uh, put all your gear on and then I have to help my friend put her 60 pounds of gear on so yeah it's extremely heavy um, and I did notice my back hurt a bit at first but eventually you get used to it and as soon as you get in the water you're fine because like you're just floating there and you don't feel it but once you're getting out it's also extremely heavy but yeah other than that like it's fine it's like not heavy at all once you get in the water obviously but before and after it's like super heavy and yeah and then once I get out of the water since I'm the strong buddy I have to help my uh, partner take off their gear and then um, we take off mine after so yeah it is kind of hard but um, that's just something that obviously is comes with it um yeah and then and then the open water exam so we did our open water exam on June 2nd and 3rd and we did ours in a quarry um, it was really cool there was so many fish in there like I had so much fun doing it there was like they also taught us like compass skills there uh, just because it, was, it would be extremely hard to do it in the pool so they just taught us there me and my friend both passed um, Yeah, like I said though, it is pricey, but it's so fun, and all the diving people we've met are so nice. Like, people told us, like, the people in the dive community are so nice, and it's completely true. Like, they're all extremely nice. They're very helpful. Uh, when me and my friend went on our first dive trip, had a scuba diving vlog, like, we met these um, older people, and they're like, oh, it's so nice to see young people out diving. Like, there's not a, long, a lot of young people that do it. Um, but yeah, it's like a crazy cool sport, and I haven't even been in tropical places diving yet, and I'm already, like like I love it so much um I didn't think I'd like uh, cold water diving as much as I do but I really do and I'm definitely gonna go back to Tobermory and do some more wreck diving there probably next year honestly um but uh yeah I absolutely love diving and it's super cool and it's totally safe as long as you get the proper training and you follow all the proper steps and stuff um obviously there is horror stories of just like anything out there there's horror stories for every sport you can imagine but as long as you follow everything you know the chances of something going wrong are very slim especially um, like if you do all your checks and everything I think that's all I wanted to share with you guys right now if I forgot anything maybe I'll make another video sometime especially as I get more experience I'm very inexperienced right now like I've only gone on one diving trip on my own so far uh, like with just my friend and the rest was just like all training and stuff like that but I wanted to talk about the training and uh, the prices and everything before I like forgot everything um, because uh, I knew nothing before I went into diving and I thought it would be helpful to um, have known a little bit more so if you are planning on doing it definitely do your research there's so much more than it seems like that actually goes into it so yeah anyway uh, I'm super excited to do more diving I plan on going on a diving trip this winter um, somewhere tropical so if you guys have any questions or something I'll try and answer them down below so yeah Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!